A founder's first set of supporters can be critical to the early success of a startup. And access to a wider audience gives founders a greater chance of meeting the people that they need to gain traction, whether it's potential users, advisors, or funders. So these elevator interviews are meant to give the founder broader exposure in a very quick way. So um, welcome, KB. I'm so glad you're here with us today. Um, I'd like to start us off uh, right away with your 90 second soundbite. And afterwards, Emma, uh, through her lens as an emerging innovator and former student of mine, and I will ask a few clarifying questions. So um, Emma will start the timer and whenever you're ready. Okay, great. Thanks for having me. Happy to be here. Um, I'm Kabir Oshodi, I go by KB. Uh, and if you start to think about things, right, when things go wrong in this country, right, you think of uh, George Floyd, Black, Matter, uh, Black Lives Matter protest, Roy V. Wade more recently. Uh, when things go wrong in this country, people understandably get upset and seek change in one action. Um, action these days seems to always come in the form of protest or social media posts or rants. Um, and although that's great for, you know, making noise and bringing awareness, what's fact is that uh, the only way to achieve significant change in this country is to know who your politicians are and vote for the individuals that support the laws or change you'd like to see in place. Um, what we've found in our research is that many people, especially in the Black and Latinx community that uh, we're passionate about, uh, many don't know who their politicians are. And as a result, their efforts to seek change are often misplaced and directed at the least helpful individuals. Um, it's also the reason you'll hear crazy statistics like uh, you know, 81% of registered voters didn't come out to vote uh, in the most recent mayoral election in DC. Uh, well, enter KIPP, right? KIPP, KYP, which stands for Know Your Politician. Um, that was founded by myself, KB Oshodi, and uh, my best friend from college, Evan Higgins, uh, with the goal to educate minority voters on who is currently in or running for office. Uh, this information is personalized based on topics that, are, that our users care about and uh, presented in a format that is nonpartisan and easily digestible. Uh, Evan and I come from big four consulting firms where our expertise lies in solving large complex problems that our Fortune 500 clients face and providing solutions that are viewed as simple and easy to adopt. Um, we'd like to bring this exact expertise to empower our voters um, in, the, you know, in, our, in our communities by putting this information about their elected, elected officials into the palm of their hands. And uh, let's face it, right, in, uh, um, in 2022, the, the right now era, so to speak, right, uh, if you're not presenting this information in 15 minutes or less, uh, then you've already lost the audience, uh, right? So KIPP solves that. Uh, by simply typing in your address, uh, KIPP will provide this elected official information quickly, succinctly, and accurately uh, without any bias or hidden, hidden agendas and tailored to that user's location and personal interest. Um, so I did a lot of talking there, but I'll, I'll toss it back to uh, you guys. Uh, Thank you very much. That was a great elevator pitch. It was uh, very, very interesting. Um, so one question I have is, uh, what inspired you? Because obviously this is a huge problem, but uh, what was that moment that inspired you and how, how is it connected to you personally? Well, it's, it's, it's two parts, right? So, so first for us, um, uh, Evan and I, you know, we had come up with this idea in, 20, in, in 2016, but you kind of just, you know, put it on the shelves. Uh, in 2020, you know, the, the, the Black Lives Matter protests started happening with uh, you know, the death of George, George Floyd. And we really had to dust it off. We really had to think about this idea of engaging our communities who, yes, you know, it's great that we can protest and we're bringing noise to a situation that's really harmful to our, um, our community, but are we really enacting change? And what we've, and what we, you know, Evan and I, again, as consultants, you know, we like to simplify complex problems. Um, and, you know, we need to, we thought, hey, we need to simplify this idea of going to the polls and being able to vote and changing the laws, right? It's, it's 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 not as it's not simple as just going out there and, and protesting on the street. You need to know who these folks are. You need to get in their face. You need to you know send some send some notes, send some emails, figure out where they what their stance is on topics that matter to you, and and engage. Um, so hopefully by you know this this application, this web app that we've created, uh, we've we've made that simple for people, right? Made it simple for our community to go in there, you know, type in their address, know who right. their, know who their politicians are, and 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 engage, and take Great. action. So. So um, just for full disclosure, uh, I am an advisor for, for KIPP, so did want to point that out. Um, can you in just like a couple of words, uh, because we are, uh, you know, kind of coming to a close with our time together, um, who uh, is uh, going to be using KIPP and um, who buys KIPP? Sure, sure, sure. As of June, um, we have 378 signups in New York and Massachusetts, uh, where the full capabilities of the web app are actually live. 
um, where the, you know, where we're not fully live, right, as, as of June, we have over 13,000 searches uh, with the search to sign up conversion rate of about 10%. Um, we're also hitting our target market. Um, as you know, I think over 60% of our users and searchers are of Black and Latinx descent. Um, in terms of, uh, to answer your second question, Vicky, uh, in terms of who buys it, um, we're, we're really looking at, you know, uh, member organizations, um, advocacy groups, and uh, government officials, right? Um, the way we collect data on, on the back end of this, right, of people coming in search, um, the way we've packaged that data, it's, it's in a way that's going to be very useful uh, to those particular groups, right, in, in terms of how they go out and, you know, for their, you know, uh, go out and get, you know, and, and vote efforts or uh, they're just trying to pull their constituency. Um, all that information that we're collecting would just be very valuable to those folks from our research. Great. Thank you. So um, what would you, um, so we always end these interviews with an ask. Um, what is it that um, folks who are watching um, can do for you? Well, um, as part of our mission, right, we really do want folks to be engaged in this political process. So please visit time2kyp.com, type in your address, find out exactly who your politicians are. It's that easy. Um, next, if you can just follow us on our social media, I think that'll be provided in uh, the, the body in the description below. But please yep. follow us on our socials, um, engage with our content, let us know what we can be doing better. And in that same spirit, um, uh, you know, if we're, we're and you're not you're not you're not fundraising yet right now right correct we're 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 not we're not, we're not at that um stage yet fundraising we're not fundraising yet just yet but what we are looking for is uh you know we're our team we're a team of two right now um so anybody who's looking to partner with us maybe you, like you like what we're doing uh you'd like to give advice um or maybe you know there's something we something that you've heard in this video has piqued your interest and you just want to learn more uh, please reach out to us at admin at time to kyp.com. We're Great. open to, to, to everybody. We'd love to have those conversations. So awesome. Thank you, awesome. Thank you very much. All right. um, so we are at time. Um, investors have many levels of risk tolerances and areas of investment interest and broad networks. So if, uh, if you're watching this and you or someone you know can potentially support KB um, and KIP, uh, please look for the details in the description or for this video. Thank you very much.